My name is Bradley Guys, and this is Pokemon Auris. I am back for another mono team run. I'm about to start a dragon mono run. I'm just going to jump right into it. Hopefully, uh, I got some return viewers from my last one, which didn't didn't go as planned. Hopefully, this one will go a little better. I'm using the uh, I'm using the Pokemon that basically killed my poison team. I'll be running my Dragonite. I don't run a special Dragonite like I fought, though. This one's a physical striker with extreme speed and multi-scale. And I got a uh, Noivern out here who's really fast, running telepathy. And he is a 4 IV shiny. He's not a 5, but the the IVs that he didn't get are still at least, I think, like 27. So, anyway, let's get into it. And, of course, we got a nice guy right off the bat. Who isn't going to be faster than my Noivern, so I'm not too scared of it. I'm going to go I'm gonna go th for the bug. I'm going to go for the pincer, and I'm going to throw a flamethrower at the Glaceon, which will hopefully be enough to get it. I am scared of a blizzard right now, but I'm going to go ahead and run the, g run the gamble here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, he's got some special day. Pincer's going for the Swords Dance, so hopefully his Aerial Ace will put some good damage into it. That's definitely what we were looking for. And here comes the blizzard. Yep, I knew it. I've got Assault Vest and Multi-Scale on Dragonite. That's the only reason he survived that. But should hopefully have enough here now to take take a Glaceon out. So I'm going to throw... I'm going to go ahead and throw my Mega. We'll see how this goes. Bufalon, awesome. One of my favorites. All right, so who was faster? I was faster. Okay, so I don't have to bother with the extreme speed. I'll just go for a straight stab on the Glaceon. I'm going to go ahead and Mega and Hyper Voice behind it. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully we can turn this back around. Because it's already <laughs> running off to a tough start. Glaceon is definitely not who I wanted to see in my first fight. Running an all-dragon team. I run a Glaceon, and they're pretty good. The only thing that sucks about Eevees, I've said on many uh, different videos I make, oh man, soundproof, is that they um, their move pools are terrible. All right, well, there goes that Dragon Knight. That's cool. She did her job. No more Hyper Voice for me, though, unless it looks like it's uh, going to get it done. Gengar, man. I swear this is like one of my old teams. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I don't want to throw Sludge Wave, which my guy runs. I'll just go for the Pulse. Definitely going to want to get this Bullifon out of here. What should I do against... That's nah, tough against this Gengar. I'll just go for a Pulse on him too. Let's see how this goes. It's not looking good. We got lucky with that hypnosis missing. Same thing again, guys. But I'm going to focus on the Gengar. I assume he's going to hypnosis one of us, but I want him out of there, so. Yep, here it comes. I got both guys going after him right now, though, so one of them's going to get him. I'll have to remember that if I if I make it through this, that Glaceon's probably got higher special defense than physical. I should have probably flipped around when I did. There we go. Let's get that Gengar out of there. We got a chance. It would be nice if Gujar woke up here. I'm just going to stick with the Dragon Pulses. That's really all I can do. Although, I'm actually... I'm going to throw a Cotton Guard here. I want to try and make it so Bufflon can't take my guy out. So let's see if we can get this off. He's going to get the Head Charge off. That'll lower his speed. That's cool. Actually, that worked. I woke up. I <laughs> woke up. <laughs> that worked out pretty good for us. This might actually get him. All right, cool. 
So the game decided to give us a little, uh, little breather there on the first one. Even though they threw a Glaceon at me right off the bat. Let's head into two here. Let's see if this Dragon team can, uh, get rolling. I might tweak some moves between these battles, but we'll to see. I definitely need to be uh, wary of that soundproof, though. I forgot that uh, Buffalon could run that. I run a uh, a reckless Buffalon, personally. More ice. Man, I swear. The game's got it out for me. So we got Ice Rock. And, of course, if uh, if Sceptile Megad, which he won't, he would also... Could also be a dragon like like my squad. All right, I'm gonna aerial ace the septile. Actually, I'm just gonna. Hmm. Man, this is tough, guys. That's not gonna hurt him at all. Let me bring it back here. I guess I'm not super scared. I should really should get the Aurora out first, so I'm gonna go after him. That'll just hit neutral. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for the big moves. I might have to pull my Noivern if he doesn't get wiped out here. Let's see what happens. That's fine. We're not going after him. So we made the right decision there, at least. Not too bad, although it was a crit, so he's got some special day, because um, my Norvern hits pretty hard. I think that gamble paid off for us. For Alligator. Alright, we're going to Thunder Punch the For Alligator. Yeah, I'm just going to leave my Noivre in. He's not going to be doing great damage, but... Pulling him at this point is going to be too dangerous. Luckily, our Hurricane connects with a lowered special attack, but let's see if we get the... No Confusion Bomber. That shouldn't be too bad. That's like double negative on a Dragonite. And that lowered his special attack. So we can just pretty much leave that Sceptile out there. That's fun. I don't think that's going to matter, guys. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just throw another Draco. Just make sure. Let's see how this goes. I'm not going after the Sceptile again. I'm, I'm just going to leave him. Because I just assume he's going to be throwing the text like crazy, it seems. Yep, that's fine. Let's get him out of there. Venusaur. Alright, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. I'm just going to let that Sceptile sit there and do whatever he wants. Throw his Leaf Storm, whatever. I'm going to throw an Air Lace. And Venusaur and a flamethrower into him. It's gonna be a really weak. Well, actually, let me go for the cane. It might miss, but at least it stabs, so I'll get a little bit of a boost after those two double drops. Yeah, that's not doing nothing. He is holding. I forget which lens uh, Noivern's holding, but he's holding one of them. If you're wondering why these hurricanes are getting so lucky, that's why. Alright, we got this now. Should be able to finish him off with an aerial ace. If the... I'll throw a flamethrower for fun. Might not be enough to finish it with all, though. Okay, he's just gonna delay here. It's cool. Just gonna hit A a bunch of times. Do the same thing again. Alright, much better round that time. I had no idea that that Sceptile would be spamming the tech. I just got lucky on that first one. But as soon as I saw him do it once, I knew he'd do it at least one more time. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. Number three. 
These mono teams are tough, man. I'm, if I could make it into the 30s this time, that would be great. That would be a victory. I think the farthest I've ever made, I've done practice mono runs before I had uh, the ability to do it on a Cap 3DS. And I think the farthest I made it was into the 20s, so 30 is definitely a goal. Alright, I'm not too scared of these guys. Let's go straight stab on Pyroar. And let's throw the double effect of flamethrower at the fortress. Who I also I won one of those. If I do a steel if I do a steel one, I'll definitely be bringing my fortress with me. Him and my Steelix and I don't know who else. I haven't I haven't thought that deep into it yet. And special, that's interesting. And here comes some stealth, so that's it's a little bit harmful for me. I have to be careful. Let's see here. So we could let the fortress get off one more move, or I could just finish him. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for the finisher. With my lowered attack and everything, I don't want to use anything that's ineffective. I'm just going to hit him with a, I'm gonna hit him with a Thunder Punch. And I'm going to go for the Cane on Pyro. He might miss. But let's gamble here. Ah, man. I also run a Pyro. I run a lot of these guys, so this is it's interesting to see. I didn't want, um, I was afraid Fortress might explode or set up another entry hazard. I just wanted to get him out of there. I'm gonna go for another cane, guys. Oh man, I have no luck with this hurricane right now. Wow. Yes. I wasn't sure with my lowered attack and everything. Star Raptor. Star Raptor is awesome. That was one of my first shiny Pokemon ever. Go for the ace. I'm gonna go for the ace and the cane. Or should I just go for the flame? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the flame for, for the guaranteed. Let's see how we do here. That's not gonna be enough. Oh wow, it was enough, man. I'm talking out of my ass, sorry. I was convinced that wouldn't be enough. This is gonna hurt. Even with my raised defense. Oh man, we're in a tough spot. Let's see what we can do here. Put Gujar out there. Throw out my Mega. It's two on two. Like these are my bulky guys, so that stone definitely is not fun, but it should be okay. Let's see how this goes here. I'm gonna go for gonna go for the Thunder on Star Raptor with my. Uh, with my Gudra. I'm gonna go ahead and Mega, and I'm gonna Cotton Guard up, because both of these guys are physical. The question is, will I have enough time to to last? Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try for it, because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna try for the Cotton Guard. If I get, if I get at least one Cotton Guard up, it'll help a lot. If I get two up, I can, I can chill. Let's see how it goes here. I was hoping he would go after my Gujra with it. This will slow it. This will slow down Pinsir, which gives me a shot. But man, he just crushed me. I'm sure he's holding something. Yep, of course. Ugh. Uh, let's just go for the straight hypers. There's nothing else I can do. He's lowering my attack for some reason. That's fine. Oh, wow. That was nice. I'm just going to throw it again. It's looking like we might actually come out on top here. Let's see. The Cotton Guard gamble was a waste, but ended up being okay. 
Here we go. We're about to start battle four. Here we go. Yep, continue battling. Hit number four here. I've had enough of traveling. Aircross. Aircross is awesome. Even without the mega. But we have a little bit of advantage here because I've got double flying on these on these fighters. I just need to think about which way I should go with it. Alright, I'm going to throw the aerial ace on hair cross because it's going to be crazy effective. And I will try for the hurricane again because I'm glutton for punishment on the Machamp. That's cool. Let's see what this ace does for us. Nice. And we got the confusion as well. Very cool. There we go. That's a nice round right there. Let's see if they stick with the mono and throw out two more fighters. Nah. We got Ice, which I'm super scared of. <laughs> and Mandy Buzz, which, you know, he's he could be crazy, so you gotta be careful with him. But I wanna get that definitely wanna get that bear tick out of there, so we're gonna focus on him. I'm throwing, I'm throwing Dragon Claw and Flamethrower on top of that. And then we'll uh then we'll see what's up with the with the bird. Oh man, this is tough. That's fine. Ooh, who's that lance gonna get? Noivern's dead. Yep, definitely. I think we're good though. I should be able to finish Finish off what's his face with no problem. And right, I'm gonna I'm gonna save my mega for this one. Because like I'm like I said earlier, Mandy Buzz can be a real pain in the ass sometimes. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish off the the bear tick. Let's throw another dragon claw his way. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna take the gamble and try to throw the thunder in Mandy Buzz's face. Let's see how this goes for us. It's gonna toss that toxic out everywhere. Right, yeah, let's get the bear out. Who's awesome, by the way. Bear tick's cool. I've been meaning to actually make one of him. Gudra's also holding a lens. I'm just getting. I'm having real bad luck right now with the with the low aim, the low accuracy moves. I've only got a couple guys that I gamble with, and I'm running two of them right now, so. That's cool. I'm not doing the same move, so. Yeah, it's not too bad. Even with the berry, we got pretty decent damage on it. That's what I want to see, though. I want to see that thunder connect. Very cool. Oh, and we got paralysis. Very cool. All right, let's throw an extreme speed because we haven't seen one yet, and I'll throw a dragon pulse behind that. But I think we got this. Cool. Slap that bone out of his hair. Get out of here. Yep, give me that BP. I need it. I've got a few more uh, train dragon guys. If this team ends up being a boss, I can switch to. But they're all going to be weak to the same thing, Ice. So I need to think about 
if I end up, oh man, another ice guy. See, if I end up uh, falling to ice, then I'll have to think about what I want to do for the next one. Alright, we're going to get that Obama snow out of there. And I might have to bring out my guy to kill the weather. Let's see. I, I don't think snow warning hits, so we're probably good. Alright, let's see how this goes for us. If the flamethrower is enough, then we'll be good. This should work out great. Ah. Damn. I mean, he's definitely done, but I was hoping, <laughs> hoping the flamethrower would take him out. That way that goat would get all that aerial ace. Nobody touched him, so... Shouldn't hurt too bad. Oh, here we go. Here's our fairy. And I am... Not... I probably should switch out, but I'm scared to switch right in the middle of this, so I'm just going to go... I'm going to try to get a confusion off. Hopefully the floor just will focus on Noivern, not Dragonite. Get... Probably hit him with a Moonblast, get him out of there, and then I can bring out my Altaria. And, and absorb any kind of fairy garbage after that. Yes, and the, the cane is successful. Oh man, the goat took it. This payback will hurt a little more. We got the multi-scale on our side, though, so. Oh, and we get lucky there. Awesome. All right, rinse and repeat. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm going to... Oh, man, this is tough. What should I do? Um, I am going to extreme speed... No, I'm going to aerial ace the floor just for the extra stab. I'll flamethrower the go-go. It should be enough to, to get him. <sighs> Looked like it was going to be close. I wonder if that crit's the only reason we got him. Let's see what this ace does for us. That's not bad. We're getting real lucky with the confusion. And this guy. <laughs> Samurai. We're going to thunder him. Yep, I'm going to thunder him and I'm going to Draco. I'm going completely after him because I know he's got Ice Beam or something. He's got Ice something. Let's try to put some damage into him before I switch. Nice. And hopefully the Confusion will help us here. See if we can get three in a row on... Uh, Floor J, Floor Jez. Oh, there's the Gleam. Well, we know what she's got now. Not enough to get either of us, though. Guessing more bulky than... Than, uh, you know, more of a more of a bulk Pokemon than a Striker. Sorry, I didn't mean to have a massive brain fart there. Alright, we're gonna fish it off with the Extreme Speed. Which used to be a 90% um, accuracy, but now is 100 because they lowered... I think they lowered it by 5 damage and made it complete, you know, 100% accurate, so that's cool. I'll actually take that. I like this combination better. Let's see, I think that was 5, right? Let's see what our lady says here. Yep, that was it. Alright, well that's going to be it for this first uh, run on the Dragon Mono. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. I would also appreciate a sub very much. Thank you to everybody that's subbed so far. It's at Bradley Guys, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube, and I will catch you later.